back to the show. I told you, today we'll be coming back after two minutes, three minutes, five minutes. So don't worry. You can send those shout outs. I told you, I'll be sending you love right here. Now, I can see Ruben J. Naish. And as much today, I ain't missing the show. Totally awesome. Shout out to DJ and Sue. Okay, DJ do you? And Sue so, were mom. All right, when he said DJ, I thought it's you. Sorry, next yeah, time, all right? No, no, okay. No, no, no. Can you play me Castles of Glass? Now, any song by Paramo Yende, Master Edu. Hi, Edu. A shout out to Edu. That is Edu Grimm, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah shout out to you, Edu. And then, uh, Mike Kagada, and I said, well, thank you, Feline and Hughes Girls. Hashtag Rock Church. Thank you, Mike, for tuning in. Yes. And then I have uh, Mubena. <laughs> Can you help me read that? Mubena Bonaparte. Right. As I rocked from far east, kwa ma beast. Yeah. Hey, east kwa ma beast. Ah, Kayole. My daughter, Kayole, Kayole is watching oh, oh, rock too. <laughs> Yo, I'm telling you, Kayole is tuned, Maze. I said, my cannibal cops, yo. And he knows his rock, you know? He knows his rock. I'm going to tell you if I don't have his issue. What are you doing, Maze? Cannibal cops, yeah. Maze? Cannibal cops. Cannibal cops, I can't do any Maze issue. The bleeding to eat my evening. Yeah, so he's going to be playing that for you. Just stay tuned, right? And then, Squid Heart. And it's, uh, all right, I've seen what you're saying. We're gonna work on that. Trust me, I know. We have actually forwarded that, so we're gonna be talking about that later on. So right about now, we have a guest in studio. You know, it's Nairobi Metal Fest. I'm telling you, it's finally here. We've been waiting for the longest mm. time. It's here. It started yesterday. If you missed the show, don't worry. We have some videos. I'll be uploading them on our pages so that you can go check them out. I already have some of the, uh, the videos out. I have uh, some videos when um, I think Aphasia when Aphasia or performing so you can go check that out yeah, but i'll be uploading so. more videos of vel and nyt what yeah. i had missed them so much and i'm so glad they're back and yesterday they brought the house down that was super amazing vel did their thing like it was crazy if you missed that you cannot miss today but we'll be talking about that later on right about now let's welcome our guests to the show how are you guys doing welcome to rock to alive how are you doing okay i don't know where hey, to up? start <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Thanks so very much. What's up, right. KBC? So I'm gonna, okay, I'm going to start with the one with the red because, you know, brighter colors first, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, maybe introduce yourself and tell to introduce yourself and tell us uh, your name. And who you are. Yeah. <laughs> hey, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Hey, everybody. We are, I'm Revenge from Hamburg, Germany. Yeah. And my name is Okan and I'm the singer. He's the singer. Okay, first thing, have you learned any Swahili word? Sorry? Have you learned any Swahili word? <laughs> Swahili? Swahili. Oh, Swahili oh, is what we speak. In the next uh, yeah. I just mumble. Mumble. Oh, yeah. oh mumble. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's there. Yeah. No, mumble is good. So yeah. when someone says, oh, there are the alternatively you can say niaje. Niaje? Niaje. Niaje. Yeah, okay, high. okay. Yeah, yes. niaje. So that's like slang. Niaje. It's high okay. but okay. in slang. So niaje and then someone you you say poor. 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 P O A, so it's poor. Poor. Yeah. Poor. Poor. So niaje. Niaje. Poor. poor. So mumble. <laughs> no, it's poor. So when someone says niaje, you say poor. Right, and then now uh, moving on. I'm Finn and I'm playing the guitar. Oh. Uh, he's a guitarist, sure. Finn. All right, good to have you on the show. Any words so far? Any Swahili words? Okay, this is your first time in Kenya? Yeah, it's my first time in Africa. In in Africa. Africa. Yeah, we need, to that show. We, that need show. we need to welcome him. In that show. What's the most Kenyan thing we can do for him? Okay, I'll teach you. <laughs> Kenyan thing. I'll teach you a Swahili word for metal. Okay. Chuma. Chuma. Chuma? Yeah. Yeah. So when, when you ask metal music, say Chuma Mziki. Oh. Chuma Mziki? Uh, Mziki? Oh, Chuma Mziki. This is metal music. Yeah. <laughs> Just Chuma, man. Metal music, yeah. Awesome. So, Mziki is music, metal is. Chuma is metal. So, yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Let's go. All right, and then we have. Uh, um, my name is Bert, and I play the drums. Oh, drummer. he's the drummer. The drummer. The dr that's right. He's a drummer too. That's why he's excited. He's like, oh, drummer. <laughs> All right. So, yes. any can you've had any Kenyan food so far? Um, we had, yeah, we had food this morning. Um, unfortunately, Ugali. I don't remember the Ugali. Ugali. Ugali yeah, exactly. I remember the name of the other dish, but... <laughs> you, is a thing. you had Ugali. Yeah, yeah it was sick. All my people from the West, did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> Taste Ugali. Taste Ugali when you're in Kenya. But 
So people complain Uganda is too hard for first timers. Was it okay? Yeah, hard. Did yeah. Go it's not metal. Yeah. Yeah. Tastes yeah. good. Yeah, Tastes good. good. With, with the cabbage and the peas. Oh, it's good. Yeah. No, but go for nyama choma. You, you've had nyama? Nyama is like uh, meat. Barbecue. So, barbecue. So, that is like, when everybody goes like outside Kenya, anytime you ask them like, so what do you miss about Kenya? It's like nyama choma. So, that is so Kenyan. Make sure you have nyama choma, right? So, yeah, can you tell us your name? From the right place. Yeah. Make a note of that. <laughs> Omtura, <laughs> 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 they should have Omtura. No, right? Don't go there. Omtura <laughs> is too deep. Yeah. All right, so Choma, Nyama. Okay, let's stick with Nyama Choma. All right. So, can you introduce yourself? Okay, hey guys, what's up? I'm Jonas, playing bass. Fire bench. Ooh, Ooh. Bass. 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 <laughs> bass. bass. Yesterday he was on the bass. That's when he's like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why can I do that though? <laughs> I'm surprised. You know, like. I started learning Germany. I went one class like this, and then it's I never went back because the whole class I didn't get anything. Like I just went there, and I was like, "Oh, that was." It's really hard. It's one of the hardest that uh, I think languages to ever get. It so is, yeah. maybe after teaching <laughs> after Swahili, maybe how would you say hi in German? Uh, it's pretty easy. It's just hello. Oh, it's hello. Oh, yeah. hello. 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 Oh, hello. Or uh, in North Germany, we say moin. Moin. moin, yeah. Oh, moin. That I can remember. Like name, right? We have. Yeah, the moin. Moin. You can say like, I don't know, maybe ten or twenty different words oh, for okay. high. So. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right. Oh. So, all right, so, uh, the band, I am revenge. I know you guys are like probably the highlighters of today. Oh, I know. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Even from Germany, you guys are like, okay, you know, okay, we've seen LYT play, we've seen Vel played yesterday, we've seen um SLC, they played before, so most people haven't seen you in action. So yeah, so definitely looking forward to seeing you perform tonight. So maybe you can tell us about the band. When was it founded and how long ago? Oh, uh, we're doing this shit for, I don't know, nine years already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had some changes on the drums, but yeah. it's in the band now for like four or five, five years. years. Mm -hmm. um, our guitar players are probably, uh, are unfortunately, not with us because they're having kids at home. Oh, so, uh, it does, <laughs> 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 They have to be there for the kids. Yeah, yeah. But now Finn joined us and... Um, we yeah. Be happier. yeah, we couldn't be happier to have it. <laughs> be happier to be here. Right. Uh, we enjoyed last night. They got us all the bands playing. Right. Great. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Hope to see all you guys tomorrow. Uh, today. 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 Uh, tonight, tonight, actually, yeah. from here. Two hours. Just go to tomorrow. <laughs> 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 yeah, and you, you know, yesterday someone was, um, it was around two, and then someone called me like, oh, I thought you were still being, I'm like, I'm going home, I'm working tomorrow. He's like, oh, I thought it's like, it's a, uh, you know, what they, ha I think they had uh, like a Coachella in mind. Mm -hmm. They're like, it's like a three days event. When you yeah. tell them it's a two days event, they're like, yeah. why are you guys going home? Oh, this is I thought it's continuous. <laughs> 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 Where can you camp? Like, yeah. Well, <laughs> in 2012, Yeah. The, the, the October first. Yeah. We, we, we were home for three days. That's yeah. so why <laughs> even functioning? Because it's metal. It was functioning. Going hard for three days. When, when we stop playing and motioning and all that, that's when yeah. we shut down. <laughs> no. All right, now, so how can you describe your sound as a I Am Revenge as the band? How can you describe your sound? I think we were asked this question by another Kenyan uh, um, outlet that was asked for an interview. I think we said music to lift heavy weights to. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> so it gets you pumped for a workout kind of thing? Yeah. It's very heavy, very down tuned, very oh. aggressive, uh -huh. but at the same time we try to uh -huh. have an, like, some elements in there that make it a little bit more interesting than just your run of the mill, just chug riffs and, you know, just blast the drums and so yeah. But it's mostly, it's a uh, fairly straightforward aggressive vibe that we bring. Aggressive. Uh, I'm stuck at aggressive. I, I aggressive. like that. Fine. Just like aggressive. Straightforward. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, we try to not mess around. Yeah, just <laughs> saying the way it is. It's just <laughs> so, guys, when you're coming out tonight, you know what to expect. Yeah, don't be like, I thought it's gonna be like, you know, soft yeah, truck yeah. or something. No, yeah, it's actually yeah. no. Mm -hmm. you know? Definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm not hurting. I'm not <laughs> But you already know, I know, like but grid. yeah, when they're coming tonight, today, there's no grid. <laughs> mm -mm, not yeah. grid. I'm sorry. Today they should know what's going Next down. Saturday, I'll tell you grid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so um, what can you actually say got you involved to music in the first place? What got you interested in music? 
Oof. That's a right. that's a right. very very, very tough. good question to answer. But I'd say um, I know, yeah. just I I guess I picked it up really early um, yeah. when I was a kid, and I just thought it was fun to do, and then I just went from there. Mm -hmm. um, and then at some point, the devil visited me and pulled me into my yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No. no, I'm just kidding. No, it's, I just I just like you know when you're I know when you're a teenager and you like high energy stuff. Yeah, you know, and yeah. It's like, I listen to, uh, to you know, you start out with Metallica and Korn, yeah. and all that kind of stuff, and then you just kind of dig deeper at some point. Right. And speaking of Metallica, maybe now actually I know this is going to be individual, an individual question. You can tell me maybe some of your influences. Maybe growing up, who were you jamming to? <laughs> like, yeah. That's that's a tough question. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we all started with, I think with metal, right? yeah, rock, rock music, I started with Pantera, Metallica, Sepultura, Machine Ooh. Head, also new metal, but I also have influences from hip hop, mm -hmm. oh. and um, there's so many bands, so many. There's yeah. so many. Uh, any of your favorites? Maybe then and now, any of your favorites? Favorites, bands? yeah. Yeah. Oh, there are many, but <laughs> I don't know, just to name a few, um, I'd say especially talking about I'm Revenge, it's probably Bury Your Dad, yeah. because like our first record where it all started with yeah. Pit Justice in 2012 mm -hmm. was very influenced by Bury Your Dad. Dead. The, the old Bury Your Dad. Old Bury Your Dad yeah. stuff. So right. um, I would definitely name this one. Yeah. All right, cool. And one thing, we forgot to do this when we were starting, like, your name, I Am Revenge. It's <laughs> Maybe just tell us about the name. Were you guys like, start, do people come to you when you're looking for justice? I'm like, oh my God, he broke up with me. Yeah. Like, you need to deal with him. That's, is that what you do? Like, do I, come, do I see you? You're like, yo, call me. Like, yeah. is that? You got this consultancy. Yeah, you know. Yes, you want to finish somebody off? Yeah, okay, don't say it like that. When you put it like that, it sounds really bad. But, okay, is that what, okay, how did the name come about? I think it was an idea from our first drummer. Mm -hmm. He came with this name, I'm Revenge. There's and we no all bigger meaning yeah. behind it. Like it's just oh. like it's just we were, we were, cool. We were, <laughs> it, was, it was the theme of the first album as well. Justin, yeah, yeah, that's like true. But thing, actually, you know, just just being honest with you, with you guys, we were just no searching for a cool band name, yeah. and then I, someone someone came up with I'm Revenge, and we were like, oh yeah, that sounds pretty nice. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> something totally different in mind. I thought like um, maybe one of your friends, something happened to him, and then you're like, you know what? We're gonna revenge. We have to revenge, and then. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> Luckily, no. <laughs> All are. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, no. Uh, like they're gonna lie. If, you, if you're feeling <laughs> like like that, just join our mosh pit, and then you will be happier after that. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm more yeah, like, for me. like I, I like wh when you go for gigs even like yesterday like my ears are still ringing until now but because it's same here close to the speaker <laughs> I was like because the mosh pit it, it was super crazy so I had to stay close to the speaker you you have to secure a corner so the speaker is where a corner was and then all that noise oh, yo head. until now mm. my ears <laughs> my ears are still ringing but it's good to have you guys in Kenya but one thing though um you've listened to some of your some of the Kenyan bands, right? So, how can you compare? How do you compare the Kenyan rock scene to Germany? To the, to the German one? Yeah, to um, maybe. How is the rock scene in Germany compared to Kenya? Um, I think there's also a question that we got asked, uh, and um, I, I um, so so we we already kind of gave, gave this some thought, and I guess our answer is that unfortunately, right now, um, mm -hmm. their uh, local scenes are just kind of disseminating a little bit, so. Mm -hmm. um, it's actually awesome to see here that the scene is very, very local and very kind of together. Because yeah. we have we have sort of a disintegration movement going on uh, back in, in Germany that um, we'd like to see that people just try to endorse their local scenes a little bit more. It might feel counterintuitive in this day of age, and age yeah. where you can just access all kinds of global music at the touch of a screen. But um, at the same time, uh, for bands that are not um, they're not super represented internationally. Um, the local scene is their lifeblood. So yeah, um, when we we felt very like we really saw that yesterday, mm -hmm. and that is actually really cool to see. Ah, that's interesting. I like that. Now, um, I actually wanted to ask about Finn. Finn, Finn hasn't talked much, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm gonna ask him this one. So, what's the what's your favorite thing about uh, being a rocker and being in a band and just doing what you do? What's your favorite? Thing? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's uh, just playing the shows and. Uh, meet uh, new people from other countries or cities it's 
Yeah, that's or, the thing. <laughs> so interacting yeah. with different people, yeah. like right here, different cultures and all that. That's pretty amazing. Now, I know most guys are gonna come out tonight. We, I think that we're gonna have more people today than yesterday. So for the people coming out tonight, what should they expect from you guys? Uh, what, uh, what are you bringing, you know? We just wanna know, like before we get there, like what should they? <laughs> <laughs> uh, like somebody's watching, like what's yeah. the They're like, hey, Kwani, who are these people? What is going down? I have to go check them out. What should they expect? I think we put on a pretty energetic live show, yeah. and I we're definitely going to do our best to bring our A game. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like the, from a, what, we could, what we could see yesterday, I think mm -hmm. the crowd also brings a lot, and we're super excited. <laughs> no, we're super wrong. excited yeah. for that. Yeah. And, and we, we usually, I mean, as every act, we feed off the energy of the crowd. So I think tonight's going to be pretty crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I saw they should expect a crazy, crazy performance. Oh, yeah. Hardcore. Full of energy. Hardcore. We want to see Hyper. all of you guys. We want yeah. to see you jumping off stages. We want to mm. see you stage diving. We want to see you moshing. We want, want to see you do all this stuff. So. Yeah, uh, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Most definitely. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure they're going to do just that. Now, um, what have you guys, I'm sure you've performed so many times at different venues. What has been your favorite venue so far? <laughs> Another tough question. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there are many. Yeah. Thinking like, wait, what's sometimes what stuck it's not, out? It's not the venue. Sometimes yeah. it's the feeling between us, yeah. and the people, the and people all, yeah. you know, for sure. The whole atmosphere mm -hmm. could be a small club, could be a floor show, mm -hmm. could be a big festival. Yeah, I'd, I'd say depending on how yeah. how tonight, uh, you know, the the magic how, is in the air. Tonight would be yeah. a strong contender as well. Um, right. I think uh, there's always, of course, the whole aspect of like how a venue is. Um, is equipped and we had this one uh, instance of playing in a, actually in a, in a, in a, in a gymnasium like, like a you know um and playing soccer and stuff like that in Germany. Yeah. Um, and that was actually pretty awesome. <laughs> um, 800 people. Yeah, and it was sold out. And what? yeah, that was, that was pretty sick. But um, otherwise, I think, yeah, I'd, I'd it's mostly about the vibe. All right, so that has been like one of your highlights. This like, year, yeah. Probably today. I'm sure today, by the end of the night, they're going to add Yeah, Kenya. at the end of the night, we will we will answer this question with Crook Q, probably. So. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, Crook Q. We want to do that. On the next interview, just make sure, like, yeah, and it will be Kenya. Man, mm. yeah. Just about and now, before you let you go, another one. Like, do you have any favorite local bands? Or, like, from Kenya? Any Kenyan bands? From Kenya specifically? Yeah. Um, I remember checking out LYT and I really liked them yesterday, so that one probably stuck out the most for me. Mm -hmm. um, otherwise, um, to be honest, I've, um, I did check out the bill, um, but, I, but I have to admit personally, like just for what I would listen to myself, mm -hmm. um, I'd say that LYT is my favorite. All right, L.O.T. Yeah. Oh, yesterday, yeah, my favorite good. Line, so it's really, very interesting, very interesting. All right, so um, what do you consider if someone is trying to work with you, maybe collaborate, what, what should they have? You know, like, because I know many rock bands would love to, maybe the local ones would love to definitely work with you. So if they want, and they probably maybe have that chance, what should they bring to the table first? What do you consider? What should they have before you guys consider them for a collab? Oh, you've never thought about that. <laughs> I'd say it's probably dedication, yeah. as in like, Passion. yeah, just do it, just because that's that's definitely the differentiator. You can really tell, but the yeah. people some, sometimes people just do it for fun and yeah. whatever, and some people just really like really mean it type of thing. Like they really invest. I mean, every musician invests a lot of like time and money into their stuff, but right. But you know, if you can like really kind of show that fire in you, you know, oh, that's you also have to that's the most connect. Important. You have to have yeah. like a, a yeah, the, yeah. And, yeah. That's also, of course, <laughs> there's a certain f like fit. <laughs> All right. Say it's important. All right, guys. Also, also maybe any watch the buzz. The, the yeah, the buzz you, yeah. Honestly, what, what should the walk on? What? Honestly, um. I'm not sure from from my vantage point. I remember the first thing that um, my drum teacher told me when I um, when I joined his teaching class was like, "Dude, get a metronome." And I'm like, "But I feel like I'm pretty good." And he's like, "No, no, no, get a metronome. Like that's it's it's just about you know you just practice with it and you'll notice a difference. Tell me like in a month, go practice and tell me in a month." And I did, 
And I was like, yeah, dude, you're right. Like, you know, it, it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it made a huge difference. So for me, I probably the most impactful thing I did back in the day when I started out was getting a metronome. All right. Always. Oh, you almost should get a metronome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's like, I'm not saying, I'm not saying they'd like that they're, you know, but, but it just, it really helps also improve yourself. Like, yeah, good starting point. And of course, <laughs> always tune and tune and tune in. Uh, All right. And how about the vocalist? What should the vocalist Warm up. get? Warm up. Warm up every <laughs> time, yeah. yeah. Otherwise, you're gonna hurt yourself. I sure. sing like that, yeah. maybe 20 years now. Mm -hmm. So just warming up for every show. Every show. All right, so practice is, is yeah, important. Yeah, it's important. Yeah, but the, yeah, the guitar. Yeah, what uh, should they do? Tune the guitar and uh, the guitar in time, just yeah, yeah and uh, right. use fresh strings. strings. Yes. Get some fresh, fresh strings. fresh strings. Yeah. Oh, fresh strings, yeah. Yeah, he usually takes care of that. It's just kind of. I guess it's more. <laughs> I guess it's more like putting a fresh a pair of underpants on. You know, just like feeling yeah. good. Yeah. You know, yeah. feeling good about your instrument. <laughs> <laughs> I like that illustration. <laughs> 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 All right, yeah, the basis. Adverse. Yeah, I don't know. Just practice, practice, practice. And practice. when you're at a at a point where you think you're you cannot get any better, I'm sure you can put like fifty percent on top of that. So. Just keep on going and don't stop. Be passionate about what you're doing. Oh, so passion. You should be passion driven. Practice. And then warm up, practice, buy a new guitar. <laughs> or get some, get oh, some influence. Yeah. 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 So or just yeah. classes. Yeah. 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 Or watch other <laughs> bands or other shows to get some influence from them. Yeah. Maybe this. All right. Yeah. Now, one last thing before you go your social media handles. For the guys at home who want to follow you up, maybe yeah, they just like seeing that, you yeah. for the first time. Mm. Maybe you can tell us where they can find you and also find your music. Where can they find your music as well? We are on Facebook, mm. Instagram, YouTube. What else? Revenge on Facebook. You can yeah. find us on Instagram. I'm Revenge HC. You can find us also on Facebook. iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, Deezer, <laughs> Deezer, like whatever you want. Just, <laughs> just search for yeah. I'm Revenge on Google. Most probably, you will yeah. definitely yeah. find us. And, and uh, if you're not sure, put the HC or the hardcore <laughs> <Yeah>. to it. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for coming, guys. Like it's Thanks been an honor. Thank Thanks you so for much for us. coming through. I wish we had more time, but we have so many other interviews lined up. But thank you so much for coming. And we can't wait to see you tonight. So, guys, if you're looking to see them in action, make sure you come tonight at Crooked Cues, just yeah. here in Westlands, yeah? Mm -hmm. And, you know, a thousand bob for the ticket. And if oh. you came yesterday, it was just 1,200. You get a ticket today. for two days, 1,200, was it? So that's like 600 bob for two days, right? right? right. But if you didn't come this yesterday, year. it's going to be a thousand oh. bob. I'm sure you can get your tickets at the gate. Come through, it's going to be so much fun. You've heard what they said. Energy, 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 and you know how we do it. The local scene, people show up, like energy and energy per shot. That's what you expect. So make sure you follow them at I Am Revenge. And of course, we're still here. Hashtag Rock254 at Philin June at Hugh Skills at Rock254. And of course, at Y254 channel. We'll be coming right back with Marshall. But about now, we're going to play some of your songs, their songs, so that you get.